Hi, welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio. In this video, I uh, just got my latest Kickstarter from Scale 75 that just came in today. And it is the Scale Color, uh, I want to say Artist Color 2, I think that's what it's called. Uh, basically what they did, they expanded on the Artist Color tube paints, and in my previous video, I kind of mentioned that, you know, I really need to start working with those paints in a lot of different ways, both palette and airbrush. <clears throat> so, with that out of the way, uh, if you'd like to support this channel, um, you know, please like, subscribe, share it with other people, uh, and if you want to help support it financially, uh, there's a link in the description to my subscribe star where, you know, you can donate uh, money to it. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So, here is the box that it came in. Fairly big. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. And it'll be interesting to see what all it has. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch to overhead view. Now, this is the first time I haven't looked at it because it just come in today, the day I'm filming this. Usually it comes in and I don't film for a couple of days and I check it out to make sure that it's not broke or busted or anything of the kind. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wrapping paper. We go over this stuff. First, extra trinkety trinket stuff. Then we'll come back to the paint. Okay, so these are some of the little extra goodies that came in uh, because of the Kickstarter. <clears throat> um, there we go. Because you get all kinds of little bonuses and stuff like that. So, uh, got a little bit of their paint stripper. This will be interesting to try to use. Uh, which is shocking to me that uh, they actually give you a paint stripper. And the weird thing is, this cap, I don't know how well it comes up, but there, this cap is similar to... Uh, but I think it's AK paint it has the same weird little like design and where you could put a drop of it on top to show you what the color is it's similar to that design i don't have any of their paints yet because it's really hard for me to get a hold of it and oh this is a 3d printed brush holder which is nice it says scale 75 right there you could put one two three five brushes on it Sits on your table like that, and the brush should go like this. Uh, tube squeezer. That's my, I want to say this is my second one of these. First one came with the first artist set, and this is now for the second one. Uh, another little bottle opener with a magnet. So I've got three of these now, which is pretty cool. A couple more stickers. That they give you. I don't know how clever I am, but you know, okay. <laughs> and a bust to paint. Let's see how well I can zoom in. There we go. Detail's really nice on this, so it'll be interesting to clean it up and paint. Try, probably try some of the new paints. Uh, as well. And another color wheel of theirs. Hopefully this one isn't as messed up as the other one that they did in the first uh, artist acrylic paint where the colors were like off and they allowed us to download it. Double sided too, nice. So that's the little trinkety trinket pieces. Oh, and a mixing thing. Can't not not have enough of these. 
I even made a silicone one from an actual store-bought one, which is really nice, too, because you can mix paints, and when it dries, it just peels right off. So that's all the little extra Kickstarter bonuses that you get when, when you hit certain stretch goals. Okay. Now these... <clears throat> these here were like some bottle... Uh, these are their inks. They're artist color, scale color artist inks. And these are their game inks. So let's go ahead, open these up, take a look at them. Nice box. More than likely, I'll take them out, put them in my storage thing so that they're in the scale color box or I'll start a new one. I, I don't know if I'm going to start a new one for my storage uh, from from Joanne Fabrics. Also let me know in the comments if you want to see that. I can post some pictures of them on Instagram if you if you really want to see them. Just go ahead and open up both pieces of plastic. Okay, so we'll go with this one first. Uh, box art's really nice. And it's got the scale color, or scale 75 logo, scale color artist. So let's open this up. It's got a little book. Shows a little picture. Also tells you like what the color inks are. And it'll be interesting to try these out, compare them to the Vallejo inks that I got from their game color. But these are nice because they're in the same style dropper bottles as their regular acrylic uh, miniature paint range, but it has a squeezable tube where you can actually measure out drops instead of like pouring it out this way you just use these although these are really stiff but then again it was also out in the cold air too so they might soften up a little bit uh but there's red ink yellow Blue, green, probably orange, yep, and I'm going to say purple, violet, violet, purple, either way. Um, nice case, uh, you know, like I said, I don't know, I might leave them in these, I haven't decided yet, um, but it, it'll be interesting to try these out, compare the way the inks look to the Vallejo inks that I have from their game color line. And now here is the Artist Inks Game of Inks. Little pamphlet again with some pictures, the colors, same style dropper bottles. Uh, we got white ink, black, crimson, pistachio green. That'd be good for like vomit or puke or something like that. Turquoise, and I'm going to say this one's going to be brown. Chestnut. It's a kind of brown. So again, uh, same style kind of box, just different artwork and the pamphlet. And again, not sure what I'm going to do with these because the caps may be a little too tall to store in the um, 
art bins, um, storage uh, unit, the super satchel. They might be too tall. I'll have to to check it out and see if if these will fit in there. So that's the two artist inks because that was in the. Uh, I want to say you had an option of just the one type of the 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 new artist color paint or that plus those, and I I went with that. So here is the main feature right here. This is what I went for right here. Okay. Scale color artist. Now these are supposed to be like other colors and everything. Let's open this up. And if you kickstarted this, you also got it in a nice wooden box, just like the first one. Now you could have went with just minimal sets. You didn't have to get the complete range. My theory is if I'm going to kickstart something and I'm going all in. It's not the fear of missing out because you can always buy it, but this way I have it and I can try it out and see what I like. The wood box is really nice, just like their other one. Uh, nice hinges. It does not look like it's damaged in any way, shape, or form. So that's always a good thing. The only thing this thing's missing is a handle here on the front so that you can carry it. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to knock it. I might see maybe if I could maybe put a handle on there somehow. Maybe. I don't know. So let's open it up and take a look. And everything came out. <laughs> Which is so funny. Because I heard everything tumbling around, so I already knew that it was coming out. So let me put all these in. I know they're not in the probably the right order, and I don't care. Um, the part that sucks is I got two more. Yeah, see, and I did a video, and I'll post it on these Kalinsky to... I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Let's see if I can zoom in, and it'll hopefully focus, maybe. And my camera sucks. Like a camcorder from Canon. And there's the name. Hopefully it shows up well enough for you to read it. But this, these here are supposed to be Kalinsky brushes, but they're not. And I did a video, and I will uh, link it up above during this conversation piece about it, that they are, in my opinion, they're good brushes to use for like metallics and everything. Cause I get a feeling that these brushes are synthetic. They are not true Kalinsky sable, sable. And, you know, you definitely don't want to use um, real Kalinsky sable brushes for metallics and you also don't want to use synthetic brushes with acrylic paint because they kind of curl up on themselves and all that stuff. So uh with that said, these here, it's a their size zero and one. Uh just like the last ones, I'll probably try to find a cap for this one or see if it might be here underneath something or something like that. And I will probably more than likely use these like I use the other ones. I'll use them for like doing the metallics and stuff like that. So, but you get two brushes with it. You get all 12 paints. Okay. Oh, actually, it's 24 paints. And they're different colors because uh, we'll go over the colors. Like this one is cork brown. Pastel pink, pale skin. I mean, these things feel cold. Hopefully, they'll they didn't get ruined. I mean, I can squeeze the metal the metal casing. Uh, sky blue, uh, cobalt violet gray. Hmm, that's an interesting color. 
then violet, lemon yellow, titanium gray, coral red, burgundy red wine, or burgundy wine red, sorry, said it wrong, uh, permanent orange, I guess there's a not so permanent orange. <laughs> and last one in this row is yellow oxide. Huh, never heard of that color. But it's still nice to have the colors because you never know. It, you might be able to mix it with something and make something else. Uh, this row, not lime green. Alzerian green. Guess I'm pronouncing that correctly. A L. I Z A R I N. This one is jade green. Turquoise. Oxford blue. Neon pink. Neon orange. Dark Prussian blue. This will be interesting to compare this dark Prussian blue with Vallejo's dark Prussian blue and see which is which. And it will be interesting to try that out. And these are already popped open. I think the other ones were too. And this one is neon red. Neon yellow. Neon green. Let me guess. Maybe neon blue? The last one? Neon blue. How'd I know? <laughs> and I mean, the, 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 the tubes are a little banged up, but that's because they fell out here. Apparently, they considered they didn't put anything above here. Like, in the larger case for the first artist set, there were two rows of paints because there was like 48. So... And everything was, like, so close. And I think, if my memory serves me correctly, there might have been a little bit of padding up here in the lid. And that's why. That it kept them from really falling out a whole lot. So let's see. What other stuff did we get in here? We got, ah, some more acrylic retarder. And we have some more acrylic thinner, which is fine. I have no problems with picking up uh, the thinners and everything. So this is a very nice set. Um, like I said, it depends on what you're going to, you know, do with it. Because um, I'm not saying that, that, that every paint's for everybody. Uh, I always like trying out new stuff because the worst case scenario is that if, if it doesn't work, I can always use it up however possible. And then I just don't buy it again. You know what I mean? Um, that's one thing to do. Now, I have found some colors of some other ranges, like this uh, detail cobalt blue that I'm going to be using on a project probably soon. I don't know when. Um, it's definitely going to be uh, sometime this year in 2023. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I've got some other airbrush uh, colors from like Createx and stuff like that, which, like I said, if I've, I've found some uses for a lot of them, and I plan on using it for those said projects. Um, you know. So that's pretty much this Kickstarter that came in. I'm glad it finally showed up, because uh, I was beginning to wonder with the whole supply chain issue and everything if that stuff was going to ever... Um, if I if I was ever gonna get it, uh, because of everything else, I'm still waiting on some Kalinsky sable brushes from a company, and God only knows if I'm gonna get those. Uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to try all this stuff out to see what uh. To see what all it'll do, especially this paint stripper. 
I'm I'm curious as to how this works. And it's got caution. It's hazardous. And it looks like it shows a little bit of uh, acidity to it. So it's kind of... Kind of scares me a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, Because hopefully this will not eat models of any kind. Whether it be cars or figures or 3D prints. Um, but it does show that it, like if you pour it on your skin or on that, it tends to kind of eat away. So little, little leery, but it, it is interesting to, uh, to see. So yeah, that's, uh, this Kickstarter. Um, I've got other ones coming. Hopefully sometime in 2023, you'll see some of the other ones. And if you, like what I do, please like, subscribe, share with anybody. If you want to support, there's a link to subscribe star. And as I always like to say, have a good day, guys. Take care. Hopefully your holidays was merry and bright and have a good day.